Hi, Mr. Wiborowski here with a video on our next size data exercise. So let's start with number one. Use Excel's descriptive statistics feature and generate the descriptive statistics. I begin this by clicking on the data tab in my menu. Then I come over to data analysis in the upper right hand corner and I click on that and I look for descriptive statistics. These are listed alphabetically and there's descriptive statistics. I click OK. My input range is my raw data. So I click on my red arrow and come over to column A. I include the label that says next size, data, next size in inches because I want that to carry on into the work I do. And we scroll down highlighting all of our input data Okay, good. <clears throat> and I see that I go fr it goes fr runs from A7 to A257, 250 p pieces of data. Excellent. I click on my red arrow. Now I'm set with my input range. It is in a column. I have a label in my first row. I'm now going to add my output range. Again, I click on my red arrow. And let me come here to say, okay. Oh, this is ah, what I did before. Well, we'll click on this again. C72, click on the red arrow, and I want my summary statistics. I'm going to copy over what I did during my practice for this video. I'll click OK. We'll say, do you want to copy over what you did? Yes. All right, there it is. And now I will highlight from mean to skewedness because I want to, it's too many too many decimals. I don't need that that level of, of detail. I click on my home menu, and then come over to the arrow with the uh, pointing to the right because I want to reduce my decimals. I reduce them too far. Let's go back. Good. Now I have completed the first part. I have my descriptive statistics, and I will save my work. 